What's up, YouTube? It's First Shift. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own side digit um, clock for to use. Um, what I'm talking about, if I slide one open, I'll show you. Uh, if you go down to settings. And we slide down to side digits. As you see right there, it says first shift. Um, so today I'm going to give you two of them. As you see right here, I'll show you the both of them. Uh, these are pretty easy to get. One's like a steampunk, as you see. And the other one's just a plain one. I kind of threw together um, to get these. Uh, I'll have a, in my more info section, I'll have a zip file. And once you get that, you unzip it to your desktop. You're going to get a folder here. It says first shift dot side digit. If you click into that, this is where it's going to be. Now, uh, I went ahead and did all the dirty work by changing all these around. Um, the only thing you're going to have to worry about is where it says private. If you go in there. Now, depending on what you make, like see, I made that one, and I made that one, and I gave you a template. So, depending on which one you use, um, all you got to do is rename it capital C, lowercase l o c k clock. Just make sure the C is capitalized, and the other two just rename, put a, a number at the end just so they don't show up. But as I said, you got a template, so you can make your own clock and put your own background in there. And that's what you would end up with as I made for you, as you see. Now to put these on your phone or your iPod Touch, it's pretty simple. I'll show you how to do that. If we go into our iPod here. Pull that. So once you uh, go ahead and download that and you made the clock the way you like it, we're just going to SSH. And I'll show you how to get it on there. Alright, from here, all you're going to do is backspace once, twice, and three times. Now, once you've done that, if you slide down here to Systems, Library, and then Lock Side Digits, as you see right there. And these are where they would all be. So then you go, depending on where you saved it, desktop, as you know, you just grab it and drag and drop it in there, and that's where it'd go. And that's all you'd have to do. So once you've done that, come back to your iPod, and you SSH and put it inside your phone, your iPod Touch. You just go to Settings. side digit and check it in there and let it respring now as you guys know there's another one in a Cydia called HTC which I'll go ahead and install it just to show you and it's a pretty good one but I was getting asked there people saying well there is no background with it well there are backgrounds with it plus you can make your own background which I'll show you real fast just let it respring here so this is the way it looks when you get it and uh, it's just black you know so to make that change you know like if you wanted to uh, have the HTC style but have a background now you can use iFile or you can copy it to your desktop and go through it but I already did that and I'll show you that there are backgrounds with it and it's all about the naming as you see like that's the way it comes where it's a clock with no number so all the guy did whoever made it was just put numbers at the end um, I went through and I checked it and I didn't like any. So I made my own as you see right here. And the way I made this, I just did a simple photo flexor as you see right here. All I did was take the original one with the transparent with the numbers. Found a background I liked. 
made it 320 by 480 threw it over it and saved it as a PNG placed it in the HTC folder named clock capital again capital C L O C K clock and put it in there and then just SSH it back into my phone which I'll show you so here's the one I made and you slide over and there's my regular background Got a side dialer and now you see there's HTC style with a background so this is showing you how to put a background on the ones that are pre-existing and how to change them to make it work and also how to get some I made for you already using a different style clock so again if you want to make one of these for yours all you'd have to do is uh, find a background 320 by 480 change the clock to whatever you want and then uh, put it in there name it clock and don't worry about nothing else you'd only have to worry about the private part where it says private um, right in here I'll show you again go back into it as you see all this you don't even need to worry about it. you just go to uh, private and name it clock as you see right there now this one's on my iPod touch so it's named clock instead of clock 2 so that's the way you change it and this is what you'd end up with and a quick way to show you how to theme the HTC style one that's already in Cydia as you see right there so I hope this video helps Again, this first shift, please rate, comment, subscribe. Sorry I haven't been around, been sicker and shit, but uh, I'm trying to get over that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and message me. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. And uh, I'll have a link for my Facebook, also my Twitter. So uh, go ahead and follow me. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, go ahead and ask me, dude. I'd be more than happy to help you. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check you guys soon.